Ooh. Package from China time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, it's time for the Pandora jungle once again. For the people who have no idea what I'm talking about, so the Pandora's box, nowadays, it's a very common name. If you go to Google or you're going to, yeah, let's say AliExpress, and you type in Pandora's box, there are so many freaking things, and I'm always trying to find one. What are the differences? But now in 2021, we're having the 7000 in one, and it comes with a very nice deluxe toilet paper manual with some good explanation this time. An HDMI cable. This is, by the way, the console edition. They love to call it. This comes with two wireless controllers. Sometimes we're going to get the wired one. PlayStation 2 knockoffs, and I must say the D pad. Oh. Yeah, the dongle is inside. That was the noise. We like the rattling noise inside, but we're going to get two of those controllers. Let's see what kind of power supply we're going to get, because this is also more like a random thing. Nowadays, we're going to get these weird 12.6 volts. Kind of weird. Even chargers, they say it. But here we're going to get the basic casing. And I mean, with the basic casing, that's just basic things that we're also going to get. But in this video, I'm also going to play some games with the Xbox 360 because the Plus Edition now supports way more games. Finally, because in the older editions, we could only play with these horrible systems. But let's take a close look at the system itself, what are we going to get? Because they changed out the main board. It comes with different specifications. The connections itself are exactly the same. So we're going to get the input for the power supply, HDMI and VGA out. Oh, take consideration, VGA out is not for a monitor like an old school CRT. Then we're having audio out, volume control, setting buttons, and two USB connections. Over here, we're going to get the same EDA cable that we're going to get with all Pandora's boxes, family editions. And there we're having the Wi Fi antenna that's basically on the top of the system. All right, so let's open up. What the hell is this? What the? Ugh, go away. But let's open it up and let's see what we're going to get. These gates are super easy to open, only four parkers to remove. And again, let's flip it open and just take a close look at the main board. And also for upgrading and replacement or maintenance, you can super easy reach the main board this way. So personally, I'm a big fan of these casings. Oh, let's turn it around. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, be very, oh man, man. be very gentle with the freaking cable of the Wi-Fi antenna. Get it loose. Don't cut it. Yeah, all right. The people who are familiar to the channel and these Pandora's boxes, you will see that they changed out a lot of things. So first of all, the main board layout is more clean. Let's put it this way. There are less components. You can see there are some new components on it, like a new, completely new condensator, a condensator I've never seen before on the Pandora's box, and a transistor. So there are some new parts on it, and they just basically redesigned the full main board. But also more like the question how good it is when it comes to performance, because there are some things you need to know. Here you can see like this, the 7001, it's just, re just released now. I just picked it up and I'm curious what is the performance. I'm not familiar exactly about the layout of the main board. There is no specifications, what the condensators are for. And yeah, the transistor, they also do they add a new cooling element. There are some new connections on the main board like this one. Kind of interesting, no idea where it's for because I have no idea what they are going to put this thing in. It can be maybe for a connection for an arcade machine they are going to release in the near future. That is something we need to check out. But let's remove the cooling element. Just remove the two pins and we can pop up the cooling. And here we're having the S905 AM Logic Quad Core. It's very hard to see, but it's kind of weird thing is like we're having a lot of S905 models, but sadly they didn't really improve the chip itself. So it's time for the Wicked Nerdy Talk. And it's quite confusing because when you're looking at Wikipedia of the S905 All Winner, it's basically in quad core with a Mali 400 MP3, if I'm right. But the seller is claiming that this thing has a CPU 8 core running with a Power VR SGX 6110, but it has 512 MB. And that is basically a downside because the previous one had 1 GB RAM. So getting even more, now we're getting less. So basically, the Pandora's box is just a main board. They slapped it in a case, give you some controllers, and that's it. That's what you're going to get. It's a game system, because you can use controllers. I will use the Xbox 360 controller. The reason why is because I hate those PlayStation fake controllers, the chemical freaking things. They play like shit. So, 
We're going to use my Xbox 361. There are a couple of other different ones I can use on this mainboard. I did a separate review on my Wicked Brain Fart channel, so check it out if you're interested. And we can only use one USB port. Yep, it's the same story all freaking again. When the system has been booted up, it will just get recognized by the... And it's basically an Android box, because that's what it is, it's running on Android. And that's it, we're ready to go. But let's take a close look at the system itself, the menu and everything comes with it. Is there anything new today? Or is it the same stuff all over again? Color, we're having the all list categories, recent and the search option. This is just similar like with all the previous models and also with the Pandora Key 7 new edition. We're having the recent list where we can see what kind of game we've played before. The list will be wiped out after a couple of titles and of course we're having the search option and that is what we're really going to need because it's just one big nightmare when it comes to searching games through the one big gigantic list. But when powering on this is the menu that you're going to get and for the people who are familiar with the Pandora family or the Pandora jungle, yep, you can see that the menu is exactly the same like the previous model, the Pandora game 3D. So in the end they are calling this the Pandora game 3D plus and I'm guessing I will going to do a teardown later on this video that it will be the same specification so in the end we're going to get the same performance but okay let's talk about the menu what are we going to get with this for the people who are new to the product well, let's take a close look at the settings menu and sadly they didn't change out a lot over here and no we don't have express ratio with the original software as you can see with the EO tester and all the similar things with the previous models gamepad settings where you can change out which joystick will be for what Gamepad utility, utility Wizard, but this is something we don't going to use. We're having the coin settings that is only usable when you're going to put this mainboard in the arcade machine. And the image optimization. And we're only having the HD and the scanline filter. Last up, we're having the Wi Fi. And of course, that was special with this new version because the previous model didn't have the Wi Fi. Now we're having also the Naughty Store that we can use through the Wi Fi where you can download games. Yep. And that is pretty damn naughty. A different performance means also we're going to get a different result when it comes to PlayStation Portable. And I can tell you, it's not great. The same applies to the data life with Redream Emulator. Loading time! Hehehe! <laughs> you do not use as ill! Master! Get ready! But up to PlayStation 1, it still runs the games pretty good. So very happy to see that we got some decent performance with less specification. The same works with MAME, it seems to be running just fine, also with Mortal Kombat 1, that's of course the benchmark for MAME. No, it doesn't run Killer Instinct, just want to say it, you need a different system for that. Hey, 
Smell my feet. Sub zero win. I did notice that this game doesn't run that great, and I have played it on many different systems, and most time I didn't have any issues whatsoever. So when you're looking at the older Pandora game 3D, they basically dropped the ball with this one simply because come on man, they are just, just downsizing these boards. It's more like they're getting smaller but also going to get different revisions, same chipsets and there's a mess with specifications on the page. It's all freaking confusing. And is this a big better main board? Nope, not at all. So the performance in my opinion on the older one like PSP was better than this. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family, and join the Pandora jungle sometimes when I have a new product. And I will see you in the next video.